Farina, a tough match today, a very competitive match. Um, can you give us your initial thoughts on, on the match and, and how you played? Yeah, um, tough match. Uh, she played, yeah, she played unbelievable tennis and still I, ha I had a lot of opportunities and I didn't use it. And yeah, of course, I'm very disappointed with this tough loss, but that's okay. Um, you, you, you had the match point at 2-5, uh, 5-2. Um, when did you feel like your game began to get away from you? Was it then or after that? I think after I lost my serve, I was serving for the match, so I think after that game, she kind of stepped in and started playing a little bit more aggressive and I kind of... Yeah, I lost my rhythm and yeah, I was I wasn't there. She's been a little bit under the radar, injured a lot. Can you compare what it was like playing her versus what it was like your usual opponents or rivals at this at this for the last year, Iga and Elena? Um well yeah, she was a little bit out of radar, but she always played great tennis, coming to the net, playing really aggressive. Uh, like if she if she see this short ball, she's coming to the net, so it's kind of a little bit tricky um, to build a point against her. Um, yeah, she just played great tennis. Okay, we'll go down here and then Chris. <laughs> Hello. You often talked about your emotion on court uh, this year. Uh, so, how did you feel on on court today? Or was it some kind of extra pressure? Uh, not like super extra pressure. I felt I felt good. I fight for every opportunity, and then yeah, I mean, emotionally, I was um, I felt really good. I don't know. It's just tough to say anything about this much. Okay, we got Chris and Jonathan. Chris, just raise your hand so they can see you. Irina, you've done an incredible job overcoming adversity this season. I mean, last year was tough. This year you came and won the Australian Open. We're on a 12-match winning streak at the Slam. So I just wonder, I know today was hard, but do you look at it as just another challenge that you're uh, going to overcome? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's uh, it's always uh, you're always facing some challenges, and uh, um, I definitely have to learn something from this match and and come back stronger. But anyway, I think uh, what what I was doing, and hopefully I will keep doing it uh, this season. That's incredible. That just next level, and um, um, I don't look at this tournament as negative tournament. I think I did a uh, great uh, improvement on the clay court and it's my best result here. Um, I just try, <laughs> right now I'm trying to stay positive <laughs> no matter what happened in court. Um, but anyway, whatever, I'll come back stronger. It's tough, it's tough match, but I had so many opportunities, but still I, I would like to look at this tournament as a positive tournament. Irina, you've told us that it's been a very challenging two weeks for you emotionally, and you have also said that you have wanted to look after yourself and your mental health and well-being. Has there ever been a time in these two weeks when you felt like you did not want to play tennis? And also, has there ever been a time when you thought your emotions would not allow you to play your best tennis? No, um, there was wasn't any anything like that. <clears throat> yeah, I felt bad emotionally after one uh, press conference. As I said, I couldn't sleep. But the only thing I can do well in this life is play tennis. So I try to focus on things I could control and I could uh, could do. So there wasn't any moment when I was like, I don't want to play tennis. No, I really want to play tennis. And uh, that's the only thing I, I do well in life. And I, I have uh, some control. So that's OK. It's been, it's been a great couple of weeks with uh, some challenges, uh, emotional challenges. Uh, but I think I, I get through it. And um, um, I don't know. I think I'll be stronger. 
Irina, I saw you say a few weeks ago that you didn't yet have a visa to get to the UK. I just wonder, is do you have the visa now? Can you come? Yes, now I have visa. <laughs> we can celebrate. I'm coming to Wimbledon, which is uh, great news. <laughs> so, and how much are you looking forward then to uh, to coming back to Wimbledon? Yeah, I'm super excited. I really like to play there. I really enjoy the atmosphere um, over there. I really missed last year Wimbledon, and yeah, just can't wait to come back and, and uh, show my best tennis. Arena, we know that Grand Slams are pretty exhausting at the best of times, and you spoke about, again earlier today, um, your struggles to sleep at times, and, and you know, it was a very physical match today as well. Just, just how exhausted do you feel, both physically and emotionally, at this point? Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm really exhausted right now. <laughs> um, but it's only, I think it's only because I lost this match, and it's very like very tough uh, tough match for me to lose um, but yeah I think it's normal to feel exhausted after two weeks of playing non-stop and, 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 and playing on the clay it's always physical matches so I think uh, for the next couple of days I'll be just uh, partying hard, joking <laughs> no I'll, ha I'll, I'll rest recovery and, and, and yeah and get back to practicing okay. love, love it First of all, <clears throat> congratulations on just getting through this tournament. Um, I would like to ask you a, a tough question, which is that um, if I understood right in y the other day, you said you were at this point not supporting the president uh, of your country. Do you feel okay? Do you feel safe uh, with that statement? Are you f fine with it or what are your thoughts? Thank you. I, I don't want to talk about politics today. I, I made all my statements. You have it. Um, I don't want to talk about politics today. Let's just talk about tennis. Give me some rest, please, from politics. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.